Hello everyone, this is Dr. Patrick Dix coming back at you with another video. Again, I want to thank my new subscribers and I want to thank my current subscribers for subscribing to my channel. Please make sure you like, share, and send new subscribers my way. I would greatly appreciate it. Today's topic of this video is how technology will create more broke people. We are in the fourth industrial revolution. And if you've been looking at the news, if you've been looking at anything recently going on, banks are collapsing. The interest rates have just been raised to 5%. That was yesterday when I was watching the news and people are losing their jobs left and right. The average person is probably asking themselves, what does that mean for me? What does that mean to you? I'm glad you asked that question. How life is about to transition is many of the people that are getting laid off, they're in repetitive jobs, they're in administrative jobs, and they're in certain tech jobs to where companies even admitted that they overhired. You know, many of the people will be able to get other jobs in a blue collar or white collar job. But the thing is, what about those people that will not be able to get another job because they don't have a specific skill set or they are not trained? You know, we're living in a time now to where people don't need people, jobs don't need people. My question to you is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to complain about the issue? Or are you going to continue to blame other folks? The United States and society as a whole has really not made any strides since the 1990s. I remember when I was in college from 2006 to 2010, one of the first things we learned that um, back in 1990, Harper's Lee with the invention of HTTPS, which is hyper transfer, hyper transfer text protocol and the S stands for security. Um, the access to the Internet has been around the 70s, but the Internet has really only been given to people, access to people since the early 90s. You can go look this up. Even email just really came around in the 90s. And we haven't really made any big strides in technology since the 90s, late 80s, 90s. So now this is why we're in the fourth industrial revolution. Everything is being digitalized. Everything is being to where. You can remotely use it via cloud computing or some other platform. You have your SaaS, you have your other um, types of um, systems. So the world has to advance. And in any industrial revolution, people must advance with technology or lose. If you think about the early 1900s, they had what they call the horseless carriage, which, which was the car back in the early 1900s. And you had people that were carriage drivers. So those people that did not learn how to drive a vehicle and were used to driving a horse and buggy became obsolete. The same thing applies to you. And if you don't have that mindset to progress and move with technology, you will be broke. There is no other way to say it. You know, one of the um, things I like to talk to people about is how your mindset can change everything. And if you're not very fluid in life, you will be broke. In this day and time, you saying, oh, it will just pass over. No, this is coming. This is already here. That's why I'm trying my best to forewarn, pe forewarn people. So I need people to stop being on YouTube, looking at stuff about dating, about traveling, unless you have the money. And I need people to really think about their life because the recession is here and it's going to get worse. Banks are closing. More people are going to lose their jobs. Are you looking at your Excel spreadsheet or whatever software you use? to see where are you going to be at? Are you going to be homeless because you can't afford your rent or your mortgage? Are you going to lose your car? You know, if you've been saving your money and if you've been doing the right things, you'll be OK. It's that sector of society that just thinks, oh, life is a game. Game time is over. It's the fourth quarter. It's the two minute offense. What are you going to do? You know, when I played football, we had a two minute offense. And if we were behind, we ran two minute off. We ran the two minute offense to actually try to get down and score and get the ball back. What's your plan? You know, in other videos, I even talked about auto blowing, auto blowing. What is your plan for life? If you don't have a plan, you're going to be broke. The thing now is preparation is key. Execution is even keyer. I don't even know if that's a word, but I just made it up. Key things right now need to happen in your life. One, you need to stay around from broke people. Two, you need to stay around from broke people. Three, you need to stay around from broke people. Remember those three things, the word broke. And if anybody, you know, that is broke, stay away from them. Next, you need to get a plan in motion. If that's requiring yourself to go back to school or earning some certs via your computer, going to a technical school or getting another degree. And the next thing you need to do is have a plan for your life to see where you want to be at. 
because without proper planning, you will not make it in the next world we're about to live in. I am over preparing and I entitled, not entitled. I encourage people to do the same. You know, in the movie Training Day, Denzel, after they um, shoot the guy Roger in the house, him and Ethan Hawke, the actor that plays Hoyt, are sitting in the vehicle. Denzel, and all of the things he says to him, says, the sooner you match in your head to what's going on in the real world, the better off you're going to feel. That's what I'm telling you to the listeners and viewers. The sooner you match in your head to what's going on in the real world, the better off you will feel. This is what's going on in the world. They're automating everything. They're eliminating people. And it's not going to stop. It's actually going to get faster. Um, overhead costs are going to get more expensive. So companies are trying to trim the fat, as they would say. And that if that means your job, that means you are out the door. I know the summer season is upon us and people want to travel. If you don't have any money, you need to stay home. You've had about 18 to 24 months with the Trump administration, with the Biden administration sending out bukus of money. If you don't have it together by now, I'm going to be honest. You don't deserve to have it together. I'm going to be even real with people. You deserve to be a failure. You had 18 to 24 months of unlimited money coming your way. People blew it on cars, PPP loans to buy stuff for men and women and have nothing to show for it right now. My question again is, if you are one of those people, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a failure. I'm going to have to work 20 times harder to get out of this situation. And for the people that prepared, anything still can happen, but you can continue to move forward and continue to adapt. Life is going to get even harder. I look at my Excel spreadsheet with my finances and I talk to people and I let them know, hey, when people laughed at me 20 years ago, living with my parents, you know, that's the story. People laughed at me because I lived with my parents because I actually had a home I could go to while I prepared for life. I tell a lot of people now, you wish you would have did the same because people want to live alone to have freedom, to have sex, to do drugs, etc. Freedom costs money. You got three to four thousand dollars a month. You know, a couple of years ago, if you had that to take care of yourself, you had something. You might as well say seven to eight thousand dollars a month, depending on where you live at, to take care of yourself. This is how you become broke. You become homeless. And you also become a burden on society because your lack of planning. And now you want to blame somebody else. So, again, I want people to realize that technology is going to eliminate jobs. It's going to continue to eliminate them. So if you're not in the correct field set, not correct field or have the proper training, you will become one of the obsolete people. Again, my name is Dr. Patrick Dix. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on another one. Peace. Mm -hmm.